Hey defenders welcome back to our channel so today what we are going to be talking about is about a initiative by the central government of india for the digital india initiative right it's called the cyber swachhta kendra what does this cyber swachhta kendra initiative do since we are all aware india is a heavily populated country with close to 1.4 billion people across the length and breadth of the country it is really important to understand that cyber attacks will always happen always remember attackers don't really hack the technology they really hack the people who use the technology so we need to be aware that every single day there is so much of cyber attack cyber crimes that happen across the length and breadth of india and we really don't know what we should do to make ourselves a little more secure right yes that is exactly why this initiative is in place what does this initiative do this initiative from the government of india is operated by the indian cert team when i say indian cert team indian computer emergency response team of india right and this also provisions uh, section 70b of the information technology i act 2000 what is cyber swachhta kendra let's talk a little more about it right so in this initiative what the government has done is they have signed up agreements or a memorandum of understanding with uh, companies such as antivirus product companies cyber security companies and internet service providers from india so that they can offer certain kind of services back to the nation back to the citizens of india so the primary objective of this uh, cyber swachhta kendra is to create cyber secure ecosystem in india by providing tools and services to detect and remove malware infections from computers and networks across number 1 there is a url you can check it's called the csk.gov.in please be mindful what csk is <laughs> it is cyber swachhta kendra right and they have given quite a few tools such as bot removal tools url slash domain scanner uh, cyber security awareness content and malware analysis and ports around it right so let me quickly uh, give you a briefer when you go to this website there is a option or the menu called security tools under which you can see there are tools for windows operating system that are offered by k7 antivirus and quick heal antivirus right i think k7 antivirus is a cyber security antivirus company based out of chennai india and uh, quick heal is uh, another antivirus company based out of pune india right so both of them have given their botnet removal tool for free for the end users in india right see how sweet is that right let's talk a little more about it talking about android there are uh, companies like e scan etc right e scan and there is another one called cdac right both of them offer free antivirus and botnet removal tools for your android devices right there are other tools uh, that are offered but i don't see it in the list now but uh, there there was a list of other tools that were there as a part of the cyber switch the kendra initiative but uh, it's not available there on the site anymore but you can do a search it's called the app samvid it's a desktop based white listing solution for windows operating system it allows only pre approved set of executable files that you can run right which is still available on cdax website so it is almost like this you allow only a white listed application that can be run on your desktop and you cannot run everything else is a black listed uh, application right okay number 2 there is also usb pratirodh right which is also a solution for making sure your pen drive and external uh, storage cell phones that you connect which is detected as a mass storage etc is secure then they have m kach Uh, which is again a mobile application antivirus solution and uh, most interestingly they also have something called the browser js guard js as in javascript guard right so this tool browser js guard this tool is a browser extension that detects and defends malicious html and javascript attacks through the web browser see how sweet is that right so there are actually multiple tools if you notice i'll just quickly re summarize they have signed up with k7 antivirus for bot removal they have uh, signed up for quick heal for bot removal uh, e scan for uh, android bot removal uh, cdax uh, tool for uh, bot removal in android phones apart from that they have url and domain scanners they have usb pratirodh they have app samvid they have mcatch 
they have browser js guard and so on right so we can clearly see there is a very strong focus uh, by the government of india for the citizens to make sure or ensure that the digital uh, experience using your applications like upi and their browsing uh, experience is all seamless and secure right how many of you here have used any of these tools how many of you are going to try using uh, these tools right please comment in the section below i'd love to hear uh, more about uh, your experience and in case you like this content and in case you think someone would want to know more about this kind of content consider sharing and subscribing thanks for watching don't forget to subscribe for more tech insights on cybersecurity